All right, so we're going to do another book. We're going to do Lego DC Superheroes Character Encyclopedia. And there's that beautiful spine, and this is a hardcover. So there's the back of it. And this is from 2016. So, let's get into this bad boy. I am doing the whole book, too, so you know. So you get to see everything. Now, yeah, some of these pages are torn because, yeah, it's from the library. But this is the con table of contents of what's in the book. So you can pause and watch this whenever you want. I like this book. This is a really cool book if you are a super DC fan and whatnot, and this is also 208 pages long, but it's a real easy go through. It's not, you know, difficult or anything. So there's that. And it covers a whole decade of sets from 06 to 2016. So let's do this. So as you can see, like it's, this is how every page is for the most part. You get your character. If you've never had one of these books, you get uh, first page, every page. You know, you get the Lego figure, bubbles about, you know, did you know, details on what they got, and what, you know, their stats, which are funny and whatnot, their, what set you can find it in, the set number, and the year it was released. And there's all these little fun facts in between. So that's what you can expect when you get one of the when you get this book. Or any Lego uh collector's book like this. Except this one didn't have a minifigure. If it did, it would have been on the front, but it's not, so we got uh, this. And also watch this on your TV, because you can really enjoy this on your TV more. Now, I won't be going all over all the stats. I'm just going to, you know, leaf through this so you get an idea. And you can always pause it and, you know, watch it whenever. So if I'm like, if you're like getting ready to pause and I'm like, and you're like, oh, what's this? I'm like, there you go. <laughs> and then there's two page spread outs, like the Bat Cave. And some of these are really cool sets. I didn't realize there were so many redesigns on characters and whatnot. Like, they're so beautiful. And I've been into Batman figures since I was a kid. Like, 90s kid. Like, I grew up with uh, 89 Batman and forward. Yeah, I was born in 86, but I grew up with uh, Michael Keaton. And Kevin Conroy, Batman. So, that's what I'm into. And there, there were tons of sets with those. Oh my god. So many redesigns. So much fun. Uh, ooh. Ooh. And this is an easy read for kids, too. If, you're, if you have kids and they love Legos... Definite must for them. You know, would I recommend it to my friends? Yeah, because some of my friends do play the Lego video games, especially Lego DC or Lego Marvel or Lego Star Wars and whatnot. Um, if I had tape on me, I would totally tape these ripped corners because I hate that shit because you don't disrespect the library's materials like that. It's really ignorant. But yeah, like this is really cool shit. So if you got kids and they love Legos and they want to know more, like, Daddy, Daddy, give me more Legos. Get this for them. They'll love it. Plus, it's perfect for bedtime. <laughs> All about reading it in a certain tone of voice and they'll pass out like a charm. I do like Harley's hammer truck. That's pretty badass. I would love to have that. <laughs> So yeah, you get the gist of what's in here, and this is really pretty. Like, it's worth owning, it's worth getting, and given how it came out about three years ago, 
I can guarantee you this is cheap as hell on eBay right now. Probably even, probably cheaper than what Amazon would sell it for. Amazon would probably have this listed for like 13 or some shit. You could probably find this on eBay for half that price. And if you found it at Goodwill, a local Goodwill, it's probably like $2 or something. Or a dollar. Or at your local library for a buck. A buck! I tell you, man, I found all kinds of good books. Oh, my God. Whew. Electro Suit Batman. I mean, this is really beautiful. This is a good book. I mean, if you're not into DC, then maybe you should stop watching. If you are into DC, then keep watching. And I do these book reviews because I know a lot of people don't want to spend money based on, like, five pictures shown on Amazon or uh, it's not at their library or they can't find the in-depth review. Like, come to my channel. I have in-depth reviews, depending on what the book is. If it's, Like I said, if it's a long-ass book, if it's, like, four to 500 pages or longer... I'll do a brevity run, but if it's something short like 200 like this, eh, I'll go through it. Because it's just pictures. It's fun. This is awesome. And kick back and watch this and be like, okay, I might get this book. Is it worth getting, you know? Another two-page spread for Arkham Asylum. This is a really cute book. Like, this is a good bedtime book for kids. Like, if they want that, go for it. <laughs> if you're a grown ass per if you're a grown adult like me you get sick of adulting and you want to kick back and read lego perfect shitter reading porcelain goddess so thank you later <laughs> this is really cool stuff i like how general zod looks too looks really cool and now i know what their names are <sighs> Plastic man. Ugh. Another two page spread for Smallville Attack. Scuba Batman, the Penguin. Penguin's Duck Boat. <laughs> uh, I love the Lego series, it's so much fun. That mofo, I like him. He looks really cool. I do want to get him. I want to get this figure. But I also want to get the comic as well. Oh, wow. 1940 story. That's pretty dope. Nice. The Comic-Con release. Dope. I have a Comic Con. I have a couple Comic Con releases. Actually, there's uh, what do I have? Uh, I'd have to look through my stuff. Um, one Comic Con. Well, not a Comic Con, but it's a con release. It's from uh, Star Wars Celebration a few years ago. I have the minifigure of Darth Revan that I scored for uh, what the hell did I pay for that? Thirty five on eBay. Thirty three, thirty five, I think. So yeah, wasn't cheap, but it was worth it. <laughs> so now I have him in my collection. That's cool. I like that. I love Legos. I wish I had more. I have a little minifigure army, but nothing huge. But still. Wow. That's cool. I like Space Batman. That looks so sick. Like, dude, that's epic. <laughs> I wish I could afford to buy a lot of stuff. Because usually when a, when a Lego set comes out, the one thing you want the most is the minifigures. You don't really care about building the fucking set. You get on, you're like, oh, I want the minifigures. But you end up buying the set, you're like, oh, I'm going to build the whole set. And another two-page spread. So there are two-page spreads throughout this. And there's also, you know, the details about what it is and what it does and, you know, little little tidbits and stuff. 
but yeah, I have the minifigures. That's the way to go. And a lot of conventions you go to, depending on where they're at, if they have sellers and stuff, some of them will be selling minifigures like these for, uh, you know, like four for 20 or five for 20 or whatever. Or they'll put them in a, a bundle thing or whatever. That's really cool though. Like it's it amazes me how many minifigures have been made over the years and the various des redesigns that go through. Especially Batman and Superman. Like they are the mainstays, and they go through so many over redesigns. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Another two-page spread for Jokerland. That was pretty cool. Not something I want to get, though, because I don't like those big-ass sets, because those, they take up a lot of room, and my room is small. I don't have a lot of room for that. Like, I have some Lego sets. I haven't put a lot of them together, because I don't have the energy to do it. Don't really feel like it. Don't really have the space, either. Armored Batman. Pretty badass. Batwing. I like the way that looks. It's pretty cool. And it also doubles into a landing form. That's pretty cool. Nice. But to me, that looks like a jump ramp, so. Woot! <laughs> Wonder Woman. Lois Lane. The Batmobile. Now we're into the 60s Batman sets. As you can see. <laughs> Fun fact. Ooh, shit. No, it's okay. <laughs> Fun fact about uh, the original Joker. He would, he would not shave his mustache. He refused to shave it. Yep. He refused to shave his mustache. So, he kept it. <laughs> no, come on. There we go. Pirate Batman. I still need to buy the figure of him. Not the minifigure, the action figure from the 90s. That one was cool. Then we got the new Batcave from the 60s series. Like I was saying about what we were going into. Come on. We're almost done. Now we got the Mighty Micros. I've never heard of these, but they look funny. <sighs> Come on. And now we're into the interview section. So, this is an interview with John Cuppage. He's the model designer for the Lego figures. Uh, nah, screw it. Let's go into this. There's that. And of course you can pause this and read it. And that's what he looks like as of three years ago. So if you see him go missing, cut this out, mail it into Unsolved Mysteries and say this is what he looked like three years ago. <laughs> and here's the interview with Adam <sighs> Corbelli. The senior graphic designer. So I'm zooming on that figure. Eh, not really. Ah, he did the wear my pants figure. Nice. And there's graphic designer Daniel McKenna. <laughs> and then we have the gallery of the Lego sets from 2006 to 2016, like the book says. So I'll go through this real quick. And of course, you know, like I said, pause and check it out. Dude, that Batmobile is sick. Yeah, I could never afford half of these. Because most of them are expensive as hell now. 
especially if they're factory sealed still. Like, shit, that's a lot of money to get. It's crazy. Well, I could hunt for some of them. I don't know. I'm just lazy. <laughs> and I'm saving money, too, so... I might look for that bad boy. <laughs> And that is going to do it for this book. Well, I hope you had fun, as much fun as I did going through this. Because, shit. I had a ball. Oh, right, Superman, so Dragon Old Brainiac. And there's the acknowledgments and everybody who was involved with this. And this is by Penguin Random House and DK Books. 2016. So... Yeah, this is definitely a must-have if you are a DC fan, a Lego fan, a, you know, just a book collector in general. Uh, if you've collected all these sets over 10 years, you know, this is definitely your kind of book to have. You know, like, it's pretty light. I'd say under a pound, maybe even half a pound, because it's really light. It's not that heavy. Um, so it won't be that much weight, but yeah, like check, check everywhere for this thing. Like, you know, check your library first, see if they have it, you know, since you saw all the pages, you know what to expect, except yours probably won't have tears in the pages or be as beat up as this one is. <laughs> oh, baby, I felt good. Mm. So I am going to take another small break upload this and read another book do one more review and then i'm gonna just relax for the evening actually i gotta call my grandmother first so that's what i'm gonna do first so i'll be right back in a little bit later stay tuned <laughs> 